can I ask you a question real quick before I, I'm sorry to, to make before a Before I ask turn. the question? Yeah, yes. go for it. We're not really getting into Spike Lee today, okay? okay? We're not. I got a text from somebody I just want to share. I ain't going to say it's from who. Okay. Uh, but it was, it's from somebody associated with Dwayne Wade. Okay. In 2010, that dude Spike Lee was on the phone recruiting Dwayne Wade to come to the Knicks like he was employed by the team waiting for us in the lobby of hotels whenever we came to New York, traveling to recruit on behalf of the New York Knicks, and they treat him like this, what a despicable thing to do. That's what somebody in Dwayne Wade's camp sent me just now. Just one. Spike is certainly that. loyal. He bleeds that orange and like blue. Like Spike has nothing better. Like you have one thin-skinned owner who's beefing with fans, Charles Oakley, every, and then you have Spike Lee just rooting for the team. Like Spike Lee's the one causing problems. Stop that. I'm pissed off. Why? Um, over the last uh, few hours, dating back to last night, Max, I've been getting some text messages, and especially since we were on Get Up this morning. Uh, the New York Knicks are in protective mode when they're like, it's not about race uh, involving Spike Lee and what have you. It's a very diverse organization. Don't y'all even try it. Max is not saying that. I am not saying that. There's nobody that brought up race when it came to Spike Lee and what happened with him the other day in trying to enter Madison Square Garden. For the record, I have been on this show, Max Kellerman, and I have said this on numerous occasions. Dolan has an excellent reputation with black folks. Hiring brought folks. Brought it up yesterday. Exactly. He hires black folks. He takes care of a lot of players and other people that work within Madison Square Garden. The organization is very diverse. Let me be the first to say the New York Knicks do not have an issue with race. Nobody said that. The issue with the New York Knicks is not about race. It's about an owner who comes across as incompetent, petulant, Petty, vindictive, and beyond. And it doesn't matter who it is, especially people like Spike Lee, who have supported his organization. And we got a whole bunch of people, even some in the media who are acting like damn idiots, literally misconstruing, almost on purpose, what Spike Lee is saying. Oh, he deserves preferential treatment. Although I had a, a couple of executives call me last night and said, if Spike Lee wanted to come through the roof, you create a hole in the roof to let him in the arena. When the man spends $300,000 a year on one ticket, when he spent over $10 million, when he's patronized and promoted your brand, when it didn't even deserve to be promoted, over two plus decades, you take care of him. But that's neither here nor there. Here's the point. At the end of the day, it wasn't about Spike Lee seeking preferential treatment. He was not, he didn't, according to Spike Lee, he did not receive an email or a voicemail or a phone call saying, excuse me, you now need to come through this entrance. He's saying that the Knicks are lying. The Knicks haven't shown us any proof that they had communicated that to Spike Lee prior to him entering the arena the other night. They act, folks are out there acting like Spike Lee got this information, ignored it, and said, excuse me, the hell with the New York Knicks and their policy. I want to come through the same entrance I've been coming through 28 years. What he's pointing out was, excuse me, no one informed me. So why would you treat me, to use his words, while got security waiting for me once we get to the fifth floor, like I just stole something from Macy's? Those were his words. And at the end of the day, if you're the New York Knicks and you elect to treat somebody this way, who is, such a, who is such a loyal patron of yours. What does that say about you? There is history, and last night, the New York Knicks got rid of some people who were chanting Dolan for Dolan to sell the team. We already know what he did with Charles Oakley. We know now what happened with Spike Lee. Who the hell is next? You did this on the day that Leon Rose was named president of basketball operations. It's not about race. It's about the fact that you have an owner who is so petty that he ends up sullying his own brand in the news. And the problem is, is that the day after you did that to Spike Lee, or a few days after Spike Lee came in here, you got a whole bunch of black folks at the game yesterday, and we're saying, 
You're the one making it about race now because you're trying to act like that's what other people think about. Nobody's thinking about that, Max. We're thinking about your behavior in terms of the paranoia that you exercise that has trickled down to security and media relations and everything else. The garden is a damn mess. Get your damn act together. Stop being a national damn embarrassment. That's the issue. Go ahead, Max. I have one message for Dolan. Sell the team. Sell the team. Everyone wants you to sell the team. No one wants you to own the Knicks. And, and by the way, that must include the NBA because it's bad for business when the number one market, the largest market, is being destroyed by the incompetence of the owner. And, and, and you're right, the, the pettiness. Um, imagine Harry Carson being escorted by security mm -hmm. from Giant Stadium. You think the Maras would ever do that? Yeah, Never. You, you think the Steinbrenners would ever take Greg Nettles and make sure that he <laughs> couldn't sit there and enjoy? Like, that's who Char Charles Oakley is a heart and soul stalwart of the franchise for, for years and years. And he's, for, by the way, I, you know, for what? For sitting there and hanging out with his friends at a game? Because Dolan thinks maybe that Oakley thinks he should sell the team? As most people do. Here's my problem, Stephen A., and it's with Spike Lee, and it's with you, Molly, and it's with you. And it's with all the fans that continue to patronize the Knicks. You guys all got it wrong with me. You thought I sold the Knicks out because I don't like them anymore. No, it's because I came to my senses years back and realized as long as Jim Dolan owns the team, it's hopeless. So I thought, you know what? Until he owns the team, I'm done. When Spike Lee sits here and, he's, and you say, are you done with the Knicks? And he says, this year. I'll be back next year. No, Spike. What does that do this year? So you see, why would you come back next year? Spike, you got to stay away. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.